Alrighty guys, we're learning about heart rate and exercise and how the intensity of your exercise can affect your heart rate. We did a lab on Tuesday over this and so I'm going to go ahead and do it myself just to remind you how it works. So I'm going to start the collection. I just picked up the heart rate monitor so I'm not really dead. It just hasn't detected my heart rate yet because I just picked it up. So it's finally picking up my heart rate. It takes about 20 seconds before the heart rate monitors um, really get that data. So I'm just standing still right now. And as I'm standing still, my body doesn't need a whole lot of oxygen. Because I'm talking, it requires a little bit, and your cells need oxygen all the time for their normal processes, but it wouldn't need as much as if I were, say, marching in place or running. So let me march in place. As I'm walking in place, I'm picking up the intensity of my activity just a little bit. It's not very intense activity, just like walking down the hall, but you can see my heart rate is increasing just ever so slightly. So I'll keep walking. And what happens is, as you increase the intensity of your activity, of your exercise, your cells need more oxygen for that respiration to get energy. Now remember, your circulatory system gets the oxygen from your respiratory system. I'm going to start jogging in place, by the way. And your circulatory system takes that oxygen and delivers it to your cells. As you exercise more, and the intensity of your exercise goes up, it increases, the amount of oxygen that your cells need also increases. So then your heart rate has to increase to get that oxygen to your cells. So I was just running in place real fast and my heart rate shot through the roof. Now I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to breathe slowly. I'm not running anymore. I'm standing still. And you can see that my heart rate is dropping. Because I'm not exercising anymore, my cells don't need as much energy. They don't need as much oxygen for cellular respiration. So my breathing rate slows down and my heart rate slows down because my cells don't need as much oxygen. Remember that your red blood cells transport oxygen to the cells in your body. The respiratory system and the circulatory system are two different things, but they work very closely together to provide oxygen to your cells. That's all for today.